let me start off this review by saying that Lexus is one of my favorite luxury brands. And if you're in the market for a family SUV, the RX is one of the best options that you have, in my opinion. Of course, you have a bunch of others like the Audi Q7, the BMW X5, the Mercedes-Benz GLE, and the popular GV80. But the Lexus RX is one of the most comfortable and reliable luxury family SUVs out there. Now, if you've seen my other Lexus reviews, you always hear me say one thing that I feel like Lexus doesn't go above and beyond in upgrading their cars with innovative tech and new gadgets because they care about the reliability. On top of that, I think Lexus knows that their customer base just doesn't care about those things. All those new innovative gadgets and cool things that you see in modern luxury cars these days are a bit finicky and they hurt reliability and Lexus just isn't down for that. That being said, in an age where digital gauge cluster displays, touchscreen displays, and wireless chargers are being offered as standard option, Lexus is lagging behind a bit, especially when you're competing in the price segment that they're competing in. Let me show you what I mean by giving you a tour of this 2021 Lexus RC350 F Sport all-wheel drive, which costs over $58,000. But before I do, make sure you hit subscribe, make sure you hit the like button because you know it's good for you. All right, let's do this. All right, so I basically lied. There's not any cool new things that you need to know about the RC for the 2021 model year because, again, it's virtually unchanged. But one of the coolest things always is the gauge cluster for the RC F Sport. It moves, and that's inspired by the Lexus LFA. Nothing new, but hey, just wanted to show you guys. And even though this gauge cluster is mainly digital, it's not as fancy as the ones you see in modern luxury cars. And it does a little bit of animations when you switch through drive modes. It'll do that for Sport S and that for Sport S Plus. And when you're in Sport S Plus and you rev it above 5,000 RPM, it turns red. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, that's a bit disappointing to me that there's not many major updates for 2021, even though the Lexus IS just received some minor upgrades, nothing that exciting either. But yeah, I would have loved to see the Toyota Venza stargaze roof here in the Lexus RC. I think Lexus as the luxury brand for Toyota should have had that already. In fact, you don't even get a panoramic sunroof here. You just have a regular moonroof. Not only that, for 2021, you don't get a touchscreen display. You go into 2021 without a touchscreen display here in the RC, even though the new Lexus IS got a touchscreen display. And that means you still have to use this annoying touchpad thing down here to navigate around the infotainment system. But hey, maybe I'm wrong and all those things aren't a necessity, but in my opinion, it just gives the competition the ability to outshine you all I'm saying is that I expect a little bit more from a car that carries a price tag of more than $58,000. Speaking of pricing, the 2021 RC300, the base model, starts at $42,120. And then you get into the RC350, which starts right above $45,000. And the RC350 F Sport starts right under $50,000. This one here, as tested, the all-wheel drive model carries a final price tag of $58,605. Now let's talk about power and performance. Power still comes from the ancient 3.5 liter V6 making 311 horsepower. And if you get the all wheel drive RC, you will get a six speed automatic transmission. And if you get the rear wheel drive RC, you will get an eight speed automatic transmission. And I wish this thing would make a lot more power. And that means you get to go from zero to 60 in six seconds flat in the all wheel drive RC 350 F Sport. And if you wanna be 0.2 seconds faster, you can go for the rear wheel drive model, which will do it in 5.8 seconds. You do have a couple of drive modes to pick from and you can change them by this toggle right down here. And you have the option of picking between normal, custom, which is right there. Then you have eco, sport S and sport S plus. When it comes to fuel economy, you get 19 city and 26 highway for the RC350 F sport all wheel drive. I'm averaging, after a couple of days of driving, 19.1 miles a gallon. Now let's check out the exterior design for the 2021 RC, and as you can already tell, nothing has changed at all. Again, the Lexus IS just received a revamp for the 2021 model year, but none of those design elements or enhancements have made their way into the RC. Nonetheless, I absolutely love the way that this thing looks. Yes, it hasn't changed much since it was first introduced, besides a few nip tucks here and there, but I do think it has aged pretty well. The F Sport here does have some cool exclusive design touches, including a sharper grill and these cool 19 inch wheels. I love the way these wheels look. Lexus does a really good job with their wheels. And as always, I love the triple beam headlamps from Lexus. They look really, really sharp. And again, Lexus is the best at differentiating their models when it comes to their headlamps design. Each one of them really has a different look. And then the taillights also look really, really nice. Here they are with the indicators on. 
And that's really about it. There's not much else to talk about when it comes to the exterior design. I would love to see the RC undergo a major redesign because if Lexus can make a beautiful car like this, I think they can definitely do it again. And the same goes for the inside. The Lexus RC, again, hasn't changed much at all on the inside since it was first introduced. And even the new Lexus IS hasn't really changed much besides a touchscreen display and circular vents, but that's about it. This one here is exactly the way it was. And that's the thing, in a world where Mercedes-Benz is offering you their amazing MBUX infotainment system as standard on the A-Class and the CLA, Lexus is charging you $2,725 if you want the upgraded 10.3 inch non-touchscreen display that will give you native navigation system and an upgraded Mark Levinson sound system. But that's what sucks because this infotainment system is outdated. Everybody else is way ahead of the game. So the F-Sport package does add some cool touches. You get aluminum pedals, which look pretty nice. And then you have an F-Sport steering wheel, which again, not that exciting. You also get these really cool and comfortable F-Sport heated and cooled seats that are very comfortable, but they can be a bit tight since they are bolstered seats and they're meant to hold you in place. Oh, and by the way, if you want this power moon roof, you will have to pay an extra $1,100 in a world where panoramic sunroofs are standard option. Lexus will charge you $1,100 for this thing. Now, before I give you my opinion on how it is to drive this thing, let me point out a few random things that I'll have to show all of you. You have just two cup holders and that's about it. Here are what the keys look like for the Lexus RC 350F Sport. Nothing that exciting. There's no F Sport logo or anything like that. Just a standard Lexus key. Door open and close sound from the outside. And from the inside. Pretty solid. And here is how the horn sounds on the 2021 Lexus RC 350F Sport. Didn't expect anything else. It's just a standard horn. And now that I've given you a tour of the 2021 Lexus RC 350 F Sport all wheel drive, let me give you my opinion on what I think about it. Let's get to it. So yeah, the trade off is pretty clear. You can spend your $58,000 plus on a base 2021 BMW M 440i X drive or a Mercedes AMG C 43, or you can buy a fully loaded Lexus RC 350 F Sport all wheel drive. But then again, the fully loaded RC 350 F Sport like this one here is almost as well equipped as the base trim levels of those two German models. All right, let's not even aim that high. Let's compare this thing to what it actually competes with, which is the BMW 430i xDrive or the Mercedes-Benz C300 4Matic Coupe. The 430i xDrive starts at $47,600. The C300 4Matic Coupe starts at $49,200. And the Lexus RC350 F Sport all-wheel drive starts at, wanna take a guess? Well, it starts at over $51,000, and if you go for the non-F Sport 350, you're paying over $47,000. All right, let's get over all the pricing and the competition stuff. I just like to give you some perspective sometimes. This thing looks absolutely outstanding. Yes, it hasn't changed much over the years because it didn't really need to. This thing has aged extremely well. Now, when it comes to performance, this thing isn't really that exciting. This 3.5 liter V6 has been around for quite some time, and while it's a very, very reliable engine, this thing isn't that exciting to drive. If you're gonna buy this thinking you're buying a true sports car, you're not, you're buying a comfortable Grand Tourer. And in fact, in my review of the RC of Track Edition, I pointed out that it feels less of a competitor to the M4 and the C63 and more of a powerful, comfortable daily driver. Pop this thing into Sport Plus and it opens up a bit. Fake engine noise is pumped in the cabin, the steering wheel gets a little tighter and the acceleration is a little bit quicker. But it's nothing that will give you any street racing credit. In fact, come to think of it, Toyota does offer a true sports car for around $50,000 that will do zero to 60 in just 3.9 seconds, the Toyota Supra. So yeah, if you want a true sports car under the Toyota umbrella, check out the Supra 3.0. That starts around $50,000, which is $8,000 less than the car that I'm testing here, but technically that's made by BMW and not Toyota. Hmm. Oh yeah, not to mention that the Supra 3.0 is quicker than the RCF, which starts over like $67,000 or something. And that will do zero to 60 in 4.2 seconds, while the Supra 3.0 will do it in 3.9 seconds. So there you have it. Yes, the Lexus RC350 is a great option if you're looking for something that looks this good, is very comfortable and luxurious, and is very reliable. If you're looking for a performance car in this $50,000, $58,000 price range, the world is your oyster. You have so many options. All that said, I love the Lexus RC. I just wish Lexus would do a little bit more with this car. I'm not even asking for a digital gauge cluster display, a virtual cockpit, or a voice assistant. I'm just asking 
for more performance that this car deserves. Either way, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Make sure you hit subscribe. Make sure you follow me on Instagram and on TikTok at Omar Drives. I'll see you next week. Take care. Peace. Pace, like MKBHD. Pace, that's how he says it. Mm, nice.